Hi everyone. Today I'll show you how to do cluster analysis using DBSCAN in R. The first thing that you need is to download a few, to install a few packages. So the first package is Factor, uh, Factor Extra. And the second package is called the DBSCAN because obviously we are gonna be using the DBSCAN method. So the first package takes about you know, a couple of seconds, but the second package, the DBSCAN may take a few minutes. So once the DBS scan package is downloaded, then you can easily have a look at, for example, you can get more, more information about a particular package by just typing help and then DBS scan, you will be able to get more information about that particular package. Now, to get the data, you're going to be using the synth synthetic data from the Facto Extra package. And to do that, first we are going to call the Facto Extra. And then you are going to use the data or the multi shapes data, which you've also seen in your lecture notes. Multi shapes. Again, don't worry too much about what what the command actually does. Just be concerned with what it is that we are trying to achieve. So if I want to plot my data, I just have to call multi shapes, plot multi shapes, and you will see that I get, hopefully you're all gonna get something like a donut shaped uh, bunch of observations, okay? So we are gonna move this back and then we're gonna come back to it in a few seconds. <clears throat> Then you're gonna be using the k-means approach that we've, we've done as part of the k-means clustering and we are going to create clusters based on that. So to do that again, we're using the, um, um, the random seeds, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then we're using the k-means approach to develop our um, cluster or clusters essentially. So, Hopefully you're all gonna get something like this, where it's going to clearly show, um, it's going to clearly show di different clusters using different colors. So in this case, you can see that there is one, two, three, four, and five, okay? Now, whether this is a good cluster or not, or whether this is a good way of clustering, that's something that we're gonna talk about in the, in the tutorial, but, that's definitely something that I want you to start thinking that whether this is actually a good cluster or not. Now, the second method, we are gonna be using the DBS scan again, called the DBS scan package. You're using the, the seeds, one, two, three, four, five, six, eight, nine, because remember we want to get the same results every time. And then we are gonna call the DBS scan function on the data set multi shapes. And we are going to use the epsilon 0 0.15 and the minimum points of five. So if I plot this new cluster, I will get something slightly different to the k-means approach, okay? Again, I'm still going to have one, two, three, four, and five clusters but it's just a different set of clusters. Now, again, whether this is a good clustering approach or not, we will discuss it during the tutorial. Now, the last bit of the exercise, which I'm gonna leave this for you to do, is essentially going to talk about how to go about identifying and setting and determining the best epsilon uh, for the purposes of our uh, DBS scan method. And why do we care about this as well? So again, think about this, um, uh, before the class, before our tutorial, make sure you go through the lecture notes, make sure you go through the, uh, the content, the lecture itself, the pre-recorded lecture. And if you have any questions uh, in the meantime, either bring them to the class or post them in the discussion forum. Thank you again, and we'll see you in the class.